in this video I want to cover these last group of tools conform wrap and expand and shrink wrap they're kind of self-explanatory but not really so what I got here is a teapot obviously so I'm gonna go ahead and create a sphere no I'm gonna create a plane just because I think that'd be a better way to show you what I'm talking about here okay So let's take this plane and do that. Like so. And like so. Give them some faces. All right, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do a hold so I can take you through different ways that this thing works. We'll make that an edible poly just to make things a little easier. Now shrink wrap will shrink wrap one object to another. So I'm gonna, while I have this selected, double click on shrink wrap and then pick the teapot. And what it'll do is it'll shoot a ray from each vert onto the target object and shrink wrap it to it. Okay? So let me go ahead and delete that. This is now in box mode. I'll just do a, a fetch so it's easier. Okay. Now, expand wrap. Okay, shrink wrap is shooting a ray uh, along the negative axis. There we go. Along the negative z axis. In other words, shrinking it smaller to fit onto an object. Expand wrap is the opposite. It pushes it uh, along the z positive z. So, if I was to do this right now and then pick the teapot, nothing would happen. Okay? It put a relax on it because it found that none of them uh, actually went anywhere. So let me fetch again. Alright. So shrink wrap only works by shrink wrapping it. Expand wrap makes it go... Okay, shrink wrap goes negative Z axis. Expand wrap goes positive Z axis. Conform wrap does both. Now, how does that work? Let me show you. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do that to it. Okay. What it's going to do is it's going to shoot a ray along the positive z-axis and then the negative z-axis. And then what it'll do is it'll flip the normals of the target object and then do a positive and negative again. Whichever distance is the closest is where it'll move that vert. So now if I go conform wrap, pick the teapot, it'll go through and do all the sh shooting all the rays, and then it'll give you this. Okay? Now if I put that dead in the center, it'd look a lot more, like, messy. Alright? Uh, conform wrap for modeling, meaning I can take this and do that, and then say, you know, uh, conform wrap repeat, pick the teapot, and it only works on the object, the, the vert that I have selected. Okay. So if I have a couple of these like so, I can go repeat. Since I already picked the object, it'll remember it and shoot rays based on these selected verts. Of course, I wouldn't want to do it while I'm in uh, the modify panel. This is running a lot slower because I'm running the screen capture utility. Otherwise, this is usually pretty quick. Um, but that's it for the wrap stuff. Local tools are just my tools that I have that I don't distribute, so don't worry about that. Um, and that's it for the TimScript tools. Thank you for watching all the videos. Bye-bye. Mm,